Hi guys, I'm Smitha and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things machine learning and AI related. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the brand new series which I'm starting on my channel called 100 Days of Machine Learning. So I'm starting this series for a lot of you guys who are starting machine learning as well or you are absolute beginners to machine learning and it's going to be extremely helpful for you guys as you follow along and learn machine learning with me in 100 days. So my goal right now is to actually teach you guys how you can go about learning machine learning at a pretty decent mid-tier level within 100 days and this is going to be extremely useful because I'm going to be starting from absolute scratch as well. So in today's video it's day zero of 100 days of ML and I'm going to be showing you guys what you can expect in this next 100 days and what sort of things we are going to be learning and what type of direction this 100 days of ML can take and what are some of the learning objectives that we can expect. So let's get into it. Before we continue with this video, I want to introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, Kanga Exchange. Kanga Exchange is a really large and growing crypto exchange and it's one of the largest uh, crypto exchanges in Central Europe where users can buy and sell cryptocurrencies. Now, the cool thing about Kanga Exchange is that it has actual physical exchange points all over Europe with over 250 different physical exchange points all across Europe. And the best part about Kanga Exchange is a lot of people are expecting it to be a competitor to Binance and it is possibly on its way to become a powerhouse of a crypto exchange as well. Kanga Exchange also has its own token called Kanga KNG, which it's launching this month. And you can definitely expect Kanga Exchange's own token KNG to be a competitor to Binance's BNB token. So one of the most amazing things about Kanga Exchange is that it's based on the proof of stake consensus. So what does that mean? Essentially, all of the transactions which happen on Kanga Exchange incur a transaction fee. And this transaction fee is actually distributed to all of the users who hold the Kanga token. If you are a user on Kanga Exchange and you are holding the Kanga token, you actually get a cut of all the transaction fees which happen on Kanga Exchange. So it's a really good way to not only trade and sell and buy in crypto, but also to make money on the side as well. If you guys are interested in checking out Kanga Exchange and also its brand new utility token KNG, you guys can look in the description box below and I will include all of the links down there. So the main objective that we can expect from the 100 days of ML challenge that I'm starting is to gain a low to mid tier mastery of machine learning and also to develop a really good understanding of what machine learning is and to be able to solve some basic problem sets on Kaggle. So these are three really core things that we can definitely expect to gain some low to mid-tier mastery of machine learning, uh, develop a really good understanding of what machine learning is and also if we are looking at some really common examples on Kaggle, we should be able to solve them. So this is the end goal from this 100 days of ML challenge. So in the 100 days of ML challenge, we're going to start off with a really basic introductory course into machine learning. And I'm going to be starting that off with Google's crash course to machine learning. I've actually talked about this very in depth on my channel. You can check out the video right over here for an in-depth review of Google's uh, crash course to machine learning entire course. So we're going to start off with that and I'm going to be taking you guys through the entire course. So feel free to actually learn this along with me because that's the whole point of this 100 days of machine learning challenge. So the point of this first step is to actually gain a solid understanding of what ML is and also some basic implementations of what we can do with machine learning. So this kind of covers our basis. And once we have this solidified, we can actually move on to the math behind machine learning. We're going to be learning some linear algebra and calculus for machine learning. And that would actually be our step two in this 100 days of ML challenge. 
So step two is where we actually deep dive into the math behind machine learning, such as matrices and multivariable calculus and so on. Now, at this point, a lot of people would be like, well, Smitha, is math really needed for machine learning? Could we just skip this step because I'm not really interested in that? And for those, I would say absolutely math is extremely important for machine learning. It's not something that you would perhaps be doing on a regular basis once you're a machine learning engineer, but it definitely plays a huge role in the decisions that you would make as a machine learning engineer. And this is the best way to build your foundation and build your knowledge in machine learning uh, through math if you're planning on becoming a machine learning engineer. Honestly, I've picked out some really good courses for the math in machine learning, and I'm gonna be making this as interactive as possible. So this is gonna be definitely very interesting for you guys, especially if you think that math is not your forte. In the third stage of 100 days of ML, we're actually gonna be taking an in-depth machine learning course. So this is gonna be quite different from the first stage where we took like a crash course into machine learning by Google. But this in-depth machine learning course is kind of going to join all the math that we learned into machine learning. So all the math that we learn in stage two is actually going to make a lot more sense when we are taking this in-depth machine learning course. Now for this stage, I have a bunch of different machine learning courses lined up. Uh, I haven't actually picked one yet, but obviously the well-known uh, machine learning course by Andrew Ng is definitely at the top of the list. So I'll probably make that decision once we actually reach that stage. At stage four, uh, we're actually going to be taking a deep learning course. So preferably something by deeplearning.ai. That's what I've been looking at recently. And it's gonna be extremely useful because deep learning is practically used alongside machine learning in a lot of different scenarios already. So it's extremely useful to get some deep learning projects under our belt as well. So we're definitely going to be uh, jumping into deep learning for stage four. Now, depending on the time that we have left, we can see how much we can actually allocate for this deep learning course, but I'll definitely be including deep learning in our 100 days of ML challenge. And in the last stage, we are going to be finishing off this entire 100 days of ML challenge with some Kaggle competitions. So we're gonna be joining some basic Kaggle competitions such as perhaps the housing prizes data set and some other well-known ones as well. But feel free once we reach this stage to actually experiment with different projects of your own as well. And once we actually reach this stage of completing our machine learning courses, our deep learning courses, and of course the math involved and some basic machine learning course as well, we can definitely expect that you guys will have a lot more ideas of what sort of machine learning projects you would like to do and perhaps even go on to create your own models for certain solutions or certain problems that you see fit. So guys, the 100 days of ML challenge is going to be extremely fast paced and you guys can definitely expect to learn a lot. So definitely follow along with my journey and I'm gonna be posting almost daily so you guys can expect to follow along and learn along with me as well. If you're planning on joining along with me on the 100 days of ML challenge, be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and also you can tag me on social media like Instagram or even LinkedIn with hashtag 100 days of ML and I'll definitely be interacting with you guys on social media as well. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video.